Number two is those clinicals. Oh my gosh. And the sim labs, right? Those skill checkoffs that you get all the time brings a lot of anxiety for people. And especially if you've never worked healthcare prior to going into nursing school, um, it can be super, I mean, it can bring you so much anxiety just to even try to have a conversation with patients and like having a conversation going. I know for some of the cohort or some of the students in my cohort, a lot of it in the beginning was just trying to talk to patients, right? And like building that trust, building that kind of rapport with the, with the patients, with the medical professionals, anything like that. Um, also, it's just that initial like jitters of going to your first clinicals, afraid you're going to mess up, afraid you're not going to know what you're doing. You know what, guys? Nobody does. Like it's you're that is where you're you're to learn, right? The most you're going to get out of nursing school, I promise you, you're going to learn so much through those clinicals you go to than just learning from the book. Because honestly, what you get out of learning in nursing school in the book is going to be very basic material to get you through to have basic knowledge. But it's that hands on experience you get in clinicals that is going to really make a difference. It is what's really going to propel you and help you learn and apply what you guys are learning in your labs at school, in your sim labs, everything that you guys are learning put together when putting concepts together, when you actually have a live patient in front of you, it is very nerve wracking. And I 100% understand that. So just, again, kind of like studying, you know, set a routine, get your lunch together, get all of your stuff for clinicals together the night before so you're not rushing the next day. Um, if it happens to be a nurse, maybe, maybe it's the nurse that's precepting you that's bringing anxiety. If that's the case, Make sure you talk to your clinical instructor. Let them know what's going on because ultimately, guys, these experiences you guys have in clinicals, it is going to be what's going to help you learn, right, and apply what you're learning. And if you're with someone and you're not learning anything and if anything, you guys are butting heads and you don't understand or not teaching you anything, make sure to bring that to your clinical instructor's attention so that you can be paired with another nurse that would probably benefit you more. So make sure you do that if it happens to be the nurse. If it's all about the skills, you're so nervous about doing a skill, oh my gosh, I have to insert an IV on this patient or I have to do a Foley or anything like that. Everyone's been there. I have been there. Every nurse has been there. You got to start somewhere, right? But that's how you're going to learn. And if you're with a really good preceptor, they're going to help guide you that entire way as you do that skill for the first time in clinicals. So they're going to you know, help you with making sure you have everything set up right, making sure you're doing the steps correctly. And honestly, it takes practice, right? The first couple times you do a skill it's going to be the nurse nerve wracking, but I promise you, the more you practice it, the more comfortable you become doing it, the more like positive reinforcement you get, especially from the other nurses or from your clinical instructor or even your professors at school when you practice in the labs. Practice is going to really help you. Hence why I really emphasize that making sure you get to those clinicals and make sure that you make the best of them and really try to be that person that wants to go do any kind of skill that you can. Because trust me, it's going to make a difference whenever you're done with school and go into the real world and actually apply everything that you've learned. So just know it's it's normal, right? Everyone knows you're a student also. So make, make sure you keep that in mind. They know you're not a nurse yet. You know, you haven't graduated. You're not going to know everything. Thing. And really, honestly, not even like seasoned nurse noses, everything. They have obviously the experience in all of that that will help you. However, they also do understand you're still a student. So to them, they are still going to help and guide you in explaining certain ways why they're doing things. They're going to show you about charting. They're going to show you about maybe a better way of about going a certain skill or anything like that. So please don't stress like you need to know everything when you go to clinicals. This is supposed to be a learning environment, a learning experience for you. And you want to make it the best possible. So obviously clinicals and then sim lab or checkoffs. Oh my gosh. Those checkoffs at school guys also bring so much anxiety whenever you have to perform a skill. So whether if it's like doing a Foley for the first time, inserting an IV, maybe it was even just doing plain bling, just like blood pressure in the beginning or having to do like a catheter, um, like a central line dressing. I mean, pretty much any and all skills, right? Infusions, primary, secondary infusions. You have skill checkoffs right brings the same kind of anxiety 
Um, one thing I have learned from that same kind of anxiety with everything else, like I mentioned, make sure you guys get sleep, make sure you review, maybe practicing with another fellow classmate of yours. Um, but ultimately also aware your professors do know that you will be nervous. They know that you're going to be nervous, right? Like it's, it's nerve wracking going into those skill checkoffs. I remember always being so nervous, regardless of how well I knew those skills or how maybe I didn't feel like I really knew those skills, right? But they know you're nervous. So don't worry about that. Um, But also, like, if you go to do a skill and you notice you did something wrong, make sure you verbalize that to them. Say, you know, maybe you turned your back on a sterile field or something. And obviously, you know, that's a no, no, you never turn your back on a sterile field. But if you do something like that, for instance, and you know, you messed up, make sure you verbalize that to your professor, like, hey, I just realized, you know, I just turned my back, this makes it now a non sterile field. And then tell them what you would do, right? Like, so you would say, I would, you know, throw all of this away, get a brand new kit, start over. And usually sometimes they'll be like, okay, cool, awesome. Like, just keep going, like, you know, whatever, right? And there are some professors, though, unfortunately, you know, they may not be that lenient. If you mess up, you mess up and they may fail you. But sometimes just like right at that, and it's right at that moment when you know you messed up, make sure you verbalize it. And then usually they're like, okay, good. But if you don't verbalize it the most, the, that time when you do it, um, they'll probably fail you and they'll be like, you should have done this. And then you would say, well, I knew that, but you should have verbalized it, right? But the same thing. It's just do your best. Try so hard. If you know you messed up, make mention of what you did. But again, it's another learning curve again. So it's just practicing what you do. If you have open lab times to practice skills, make sure you guys attend those. Make sure you get as much practice as possible, answering any and all questions with your professors, other classmates, if they have an easier way about going things. Those are the perfect times for you guys to really work on stuff. So between sim lab, same kind of thing, you guys are working together with your other nurses. You guys usually get assigned to being a patient or a nurse or whatever, have a whole scenario. That can be pretty nerve wracking too. But again, it's another learning experience. So just take Take those all into effect. You're not, you know, don't make yourself feel like you're not good enough. Which hey, everyone. If you enjoyed watching that clip and you want to see the full video to it, make sure you guys click the box here. If you enjoy watching these kind of videos and you want to see more videos from the Nurse Kristen YouTube for pre-nursing, nursing student, new grad nurses, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button over here.